Hi, my name is Jared. I'm from Wisconsin. I considered myself a Republican since middle school. I volunteered for John McCain and Mitt Romney. I'm proud to have met Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan on the day of the 2012 Wisconsin primary. In 2016, I could not support President Trump, so I wrote in for Evan McMullen. No Republican had won Wisconsin in my lifetime, so I felt sure that Hillary Clinton would win here without my support. When Trump won, I tried not to panic. I thought that best case scenario, he would appoint enough competent, qualified people to rein him in and produce enough positive results where maybe I could feel comfortable voting for him the second time around. Um, within a very short time of him taking office, it became obvious that that was not going to happen. There was very little interest in serious governing, mostly just in serving Trump's ego. We were getting bogged down in arguments about inauguration crowd sizes and alternative facts. So I decided I would stay a never Trump Republican until the impeachment. I found the behavior of Republicans in Congress during the whole impeachment process to be absolutely disgusting. I could not believe the willful ignorance of the evidence that was staring them right in the face. We now know, of course, that the Trump campaign knowingly coordinated with Russia, as do the Republican senators who wrote the report on it. But they stood by while he publicly took Putin's word over our own intelligence agencies, pushed for Russia to rejoin the G7, and earlier this year ignored reports of Russian bounties on our soldiers. So I am done supporting the enablers. I remember when Republicans favored free trade, not trade wars that hurt American farmers and manufacturers. I remember when the Republican National Convention had the debt clock on stage. Now we have a president who's called himself the king of debt, and the only spending cuts that ever get talked about are ones that are meant to punish his political enemies. The GOP has gone from the party of personal responsibility to the party of I take no responsibility, from opposing dictators to enabling them. The party of Lincoln is now led by the preferred president of the KKK, who's an ardent supporter of the Confederate flag. This is not what I signed up for. Does my dislike of abortion mean that I must support locking kids in cages, threatening other countries with war, and abandoning the Kurds to be slaughtered? Where's the pro-life in that? Does my faith really require me to support a serial adulterer who brags about groping women and says he's never asked God for forgiveness? No. A lot of Trump supporters I know have tried to tell me I just don't like Trump because he's a jerk. Not true, although he is certainly a jerk. My four-year-old can see that. She doesn't need me to tell her. She sees him on TV and says, Daddy, he's not very nice. No, his ego, ignorance, and moral bankruptcy have had real implications. If he gets away with governing by executive order, inviting foreign interference in our elections, spending taxpayer money at his own businesses, and using the Justice Department as his personal lawyers, what is there to stop other future presidents from doing the same or worse? He's damaged our relationships with our allies, our national security, our elections, even the post office. He's replaced career public servants with less qualified yes-men and sometimes with now-convicted felons. But nowhere is this clearer than in his mishandling of COVID-19. First, he weakened the government's preparedness for a pandemic. And now we've heard from his own mouth how he's repeatedly lied to us and ignored the science to the tune of almost 200,000 mostly preventable deaths. I voted for Democrats before at the local level. I went to college in Madison where there often were no Republicans on the ballot for many offices. So that mental barrier was broken for me a long time ago. I even had to vote in the Democratic primary this year because the Wisconsin GOP canceled their primary to protect Trump. But I will be voting gladly for Joe Biden. I won't agree with him on much, and I certainly hope that the Republicans or some other kind of responsible conservative party can get their act together sooner rather than later. But I believe him to be a decent man who truly loves this country and can provide the leadership that we need to get us through the tough times ahead. Thanks.